Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to the stream. Sorry about that um, temporary blip. My power decided it didn't want to behave. Um, could you just let me know you can hear me okay? Excellent. Um, I know, we always do a sound check. Hope everybody's having a good evening. Yep, you can hear me. Lovely stuff. And you should be able to see everything now. You should be able to see the game. Excellent. So yes, uh, sorry about that delay. It was. It seemed it was only a second the power went off, like it sort of surged, and then it was enough to turn the computer off, apparently, a minute before the stream was due to start. So, uh, tonight, as many of you are probably aware, um, we're going to be doing another livery designer stream. Um, but this time we're going to be focusing on the recent competition that was announced today. So if any of you um, have missed it on the forums in our um, article section of the forums, uh, we go into detail about the current livery designer competition. And the theme this time is steampunk. steampunk. Uh, thank you very much to the mods for sharing the link in the chat there. And what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to um, have a go myself at the theme. Um, do not expect a work of art because I'm going to be doing what should take a few days um, in like an hour. Um, and hopefully it'll give you some inspiration to create your own type of things. Um, if there's anything that you've got an idea of yourself that you think, I don't know how I'm going to make that work uh, with this theme and you want me to give it a try, um, please do post your suggestions in the chat and I'll give it a go. Um, what I'm going to say is for anybody that is participating in the livery designer competition, use the time you've got. So it's like nearly three weeks you've got to create something. Don't rush it. Um, start it and then make mistakes. Go back to it. Um, take a break from it. And just keep gradually working on it until you feel comfortable with it and then submit it. Um, but yeah, it, and, and hopefully this stream as well will give those of you that perhaps don't have um, loads of confidence um, just a bit of a nudge, you know, to just give it a try. So what I'm going to do is um, I've decided which train I'm going to use. Um, and I've also decided the sort of colour scheme I'm going to use. And then beyond that, I'm going to let you guys help me decide what to do. But we are going to be doing um, the F7 because I quite like the way, you know, it seems quite old and steampunky. Um, and then I'm going to colour it sort of like black with sort of yellow on the bottom. And then beyond that, I'm out of ideas. Right, uh, where is it? I've gone past it. A unit. Steampunk. Um. Yeah, the F7 is a simple and iconic design. Um, it's pretty good for this theme, I think. Um, but obviously, you can use um, pretty much any train you want. I think it's other than the ICE. Um, but the, all of the terms and conditions are in that doc, uh, are in the forum thread. So um, give that a read before you <laughs> before you start yours as well. Make sure you are reading the terms and conditions. Um, but yes, uh, this is the the shape I'm going for. And also, it's it, I. I don't know if it's just me, right? But the front looks a little bit like a face or it reminds me a bit of a face. So like you've got your two eyes and then you've got your nose. So what I'm gonna do is make like a mustache and give it a monocle just cause I thought it'd be funny. All right, let's paint it black. Uh, why can't you use the ICE? I believe it's due to licensing reasons. We're not allowed to, um, we're not allowed to change the livery on it and stuff like that. I mean, you guys can do it in your um, your spare time, and you can do it on your own computers and things like that. But then we wouldn't be allowed to share your works of art. So um, we want to show off what you create. So I'm gonna go for like a golden color. 
Uh, let's go for this kind of one. Can you not use the Long Island Railroad? Um, I think you can. As far as I'm aware, um, it is only the ICE3 and one other that is exempt. And that is for licensing reasons. But otherwise, you can choose whichever shape train you like. Mm, let's do it slowly. And make it bigger. Um, bum, bum, bum. They don't show up when starting a timetable. Oh, that sucks. Do a cog for the livery contest. Yeah, so I had a bit of a practice earlier, right? And I thought, I'll make a clock. And I decided to make some cogs to, like, go in the clock. And this is something I will try and do tonight to sort of show how I did it. But I thought, this clock isn't going to use that many um, layers. And I was completely wrong. <laughs> I, made, I made the clock with three cogs and I used something like 115 layers. <laughs> so definitely be aware of that when you're making uh, your creation. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna want more layers. And then let's make it go down. And then if anybody's unsure about steampunk or the theme or anything like that, um, I do recommend like looking stuff up on Google and stuff and um, taking some inspiration from there. Uh, there are some things that are like very distinctively steampunk. So, you know, like um, top hats with um, welding goggles, you know, like the old welding goggles um, or... Um, like skulls wearing top hats and having monocles and um, like pipes and things like that and cogs and um, just google it you'll find some inspiration um, but this is the kind of color I'm going for for the bottom because I thought it really fits in with the theme quite nicely um, right and then let's get started I'm going to put my moustache on the front first just because I like the idea of having no moustache on the train. Um, and I did have a practice with this earlier and it was dreadful. So it could all go horribly wrong. And um, let me know if you're thinking of taking part and, you know, do you want any help with your idea? Um, what are your thoughts? What do you want to do? I'm going to try, if I, we have time tonight, I'm going to try like putting some pipes down the side of um, the loco and I'm going to try, I'll try and do a clock again uh, with the cogs and stuff just to show you what I did that caused so many layers and stuff like that so that perhaps if I use too many, you can figure out, um, you know, how to do less. Um, and like I said, I'm doing this in an hour. If I, if I had as much time as I'd like, I'd be doing it for the three weeks like you've got. I think it's three weeks. This is on PC, yeah. Um, I do, I have been practicing with the PlayStation controller. Um, but... As I said last time, I'm still not particularly confident with the PlayStation controller. I do need to practice more. Um, but the competition is for anybody. Um, it doesn't matter what. Um, it doesn't matter what uh, platform you're using. So if you are on PlayStation, Xbox, and you want to take part, as long as you get a good screenshot um, and post it on the forums, you can absolutely take part. Um, Alan says, I have a question. What's your question, Alan? And class three or four pan, do you prefer tea, coffee, or hot chocolate? I prefer tea. I tend to drink tea during these streams. Um, I always make one before I start because it's quite nice to just do this, relax, talk to you guys, have my cup of tea. You know, I hope you guys have a cup of tea as well. And um, we can just have a bit of fun with it. 
This one's going to be slightly more creative than normal because lately I've been um, copy copying liveries, haven't I? Whereas this time I'm actually going to try and make something original and we'll see how it goes. Um, right. It's quite hard to uh, get it to do what I want when I know everyone's watching. Uh, lemonade for you, the gaming room. Nice. Moggy, where's your tea? Sorry, Moggy. Did, did I not make you a cup of tea before we started? Uh, can you enter train cars or no? Um, because I also made a steampunk tanker car. Yeah, you can use whichever um, bit you want. It doesn't have to be like just the loco. It could be um, a tank. It could be a wagon. It could be anything. Um, as long as you've got a good picture on it, I quite like the tankers um, because it's quite it, it's a it's like a bit of a blank canvas, isn't it? At some point, show you how to weather a train. Yes, uh, the weathering a train is something I have been trying to figure out, and honestly, I still haven't figured it out. Um, I need to practice more. Right, let's. Quit chatting for five minutes and actually create something, shall I? Uh, let's go that way. And then. There. And move it. I will read the chat in two moments. Place. Um, does the screenshot have to be taken in the library screen or on the rails? No, you can take it wherever you like if you think it looks better on the um, on the rails then you can take it on the rails if you think it looks better in the designer you can take it in the designer see look it's like a little face with the moustache um, but yeah, if you want, if you think, do you know what, it looks better in here than it does on the actual railway, by all means, you can, um, you can, you can take it, the picture wherever you like, whatever you think looks best, really. So with steampunk, I'm going to try and stick to, you know, like the traditional colours. So you sort of, you faded uh, golds, the brass colours, um, you know, your, your dark colours. Because I've noticed with steampunk, it's it's very like, you usually have like a drastic colour and like a very dark colour. So like you have like black and say a very sharp purple or black and say a sharp green and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and stick to that colour scheme if I can. And then let's give this train a monocle. Ta-da! And that's only something little. Uh, bronze and burnt silver, yep. Yeah. Class 314. Same for me now. Weathering is such a pain to get around. I nearly had a decent weathering layer on a reskin I made for the 3 on 4 but instead of duplicating I accidentally deleted it. Oh no, that is heartbreaking. I've done that so many times. I push the wrong buttons all the time and it drives me insane. Normally, I'll try to do some like uh, make something bigger or smaller really slowly by pushing control and I'll push shift instead and then I'll just make something giant or tiny. Uh, steampunk almost reminds me of disco or streamlined design of the 30s for some reason. See, now, if you look at it from that angle, it looks rubbish. But if I was taking my picture for the sake of the competition, um, I would zoom in so it looks perfect like that, you see? So there's nothing wrong with using a bit of cinema magic um, for the sake of the picture. So we're now going to go to the side. And I'm going to put a clock 
on here and then let's let's make some uh, let's make some cogs as well right. now I tried doing a clock earlier with the see-through circle and it actually ended up being harder so I'm gonna probably use this one and then actually no no I'm gonna use this one Um, and then let's choose the colors you need the cogs you do need the cogs um the cogs took ages to get right and they were really annoying but i will show you guys how to do them i mean i'm probably going to do it and you, you're going to tell me some really easy way, way of getting it right um but we'll give it a go the train has a rusted effect on it Almost on the sides, it looks awesome. Yeah, it looks quite good, doesn't it, with the colours blended like that. I quite like it, anyway. Right, let's go down to... I think a dark grey for, like, the face. And then what I might do is do, like, a sort of brassy colour around the outside. And then... What do you reckon? What colour cogs? Because I don't think they need black, because otherwise we've got a lot of black. Think about that in a moment go bigger I'd love to do it like a pocket watch you know so it looked like there was a pocket watch opening but um, I'm not artistic enough to know how to get like the the lid the, the, what's it called the face you know the bit that closes I can't do that uh, copy edit. orange cogs you guys love orange Um, I hope some of you make like, um, like a skull face or something with a top hat that would look ace. Actually, I'm really looking forward to seeing what everybody creates for this theme because I think it's a really cool theme. Um, right, options, no, wrong one. A little bit bigger. Um, calm shell, clam shell. I said I read out. You want clam shell color? Um, how I make calls as a circle? Then use four quarter circles. Then put several. Oh, that's a better way of doing it. Apollo gaming. That is much more sensible than the approach I took. Um, I did it this afternoon and I just, I did the hollow circle and then I put a load of like eyes, like elongated eyes in it to try and get it. But yours makes a lot more sense. <laughs> oh, the metal cover on the pocket watch is called a clamshell. Right, that makes more sense. Class 314, my cat is a devil, keeps chewing on my headset wire. Oh, I think you've all come to realise I adore cats since I met Lady on stream the other day. Um, right, so you did the cogs. How did you, you made the circle and the quarter circles, but several screws. Yeah, so I see what you've done. I'm gonna I'm gonna just practice what you've done now. See um see if I can do it. So let's go with. You could actually do. Who said orange? Could you go with like, what do you reckon, like an or a faded orange for the cogs? It actually work. And then, if it's grey background, then I need. Um, so it would be this one. Okay. Let's make it smaller. That's bigger. Oh, right, that's actually a really good idea. Uh, okay, I think I'm actually going to chin I might do it my way. I know, I know how to do my way. This way, I'm going to spend ages doing it. But I see what you did, and then you've like... Look, because if I copy it, 
edit it, and then I'll just rot I'll rotate it so everybody can see how it. And then, obviously, I could adjust and such. I like it. I like it. Um, let's go back. Let's place. Let's delete that one. Let's change the shape to. Um, no. See, this is the way I did it. Um, this does not mean it's the only way to create a cog. Uh, so I elongated it. Do I want to make it? Let's go a bit smaller. There. Mm, I'm gonna no, copy edit. You'll create gold cogs. Yeah, I did gold cogs this afternoon and they looked really good as well. Uh, that's to change the color to grey. Uh the that, that other one needs to be the brown colour. That needs to be no wrong color no there we go confirm um bum, bum, bum. place copy now i am by no means um making the most of the layers um if you're doing it yourselves be aware of how many layers um you're using for everything because yeah, you'll you'll run out before you want to. Okay, let's make let's go here and then copy edit. Um and if I had as much time as I would like to, uh, like, by now, um, you've probably come to realise I, I like it to be quite particular, but I do not have the time. To, it does look like a pie. I don't have the time to make it as particular as I'd like. Um, and then shape. Now, what I did for the little cog bits earlier, now, there's got to be a better way of doing this, okay? But this was just the way I did it, and it worked quite nicely. Um open to suggestions on this one so i uh, made it smaller and then put them all together um make them chunky Now this is the bit where I started eating into my layers because I'm going to make it go all the way around. And then it's, it does look like a cog, but the problem is, um, yeah, it just, it takes loads, but you'll, you'll see for time to time. It's all right once I've grouped it all together and I've made one, because then I can just make multiple cogs. But by that point, I, I we're going to go into like the hundred layers at this point. So... Yeah, it looks like the Trivial Pursuit pie, doesn't it?
Now, again, by no means perfect. Um, as you can see, all of this bit is on like a slight angle, which upsets me. The one I did earlier was was much uh, smoother, but I did spend longer on it. But this is why I suggest for anybody who's thinking of um, taking part in this competition, spend the time on it. Um, you see that I went to do it slowly and I moved it quickly <laughs> let's go that way um, will the new passages in Russia overhaul how they act and possibly prevent them from launching into space so I don't have any information to share with regards to rush hour um, but when we do have stuff to share with Rush Hour, um, we'll do that during a proper Rush Hour stream. Right, let's group these together. Copy. Let's try and move it around a bit quicker. Uh, how can I copy and paste designs that I made on one train cart to the other one on Xbox One? I'm not entirely certain, um, Apollo, because I've never tried it on um, Xbox. What I would suggest is if um, I would I would recommend you ask that question in the um, forums because um, somebody else who actually uses the Xbox um, might be might have an answer for you there, or even someone in the chat. If there's anybody in the chat um, who uses it. Are you able to answer that question? So it is beginning to look slightly more like a cog now. I actually quite like the odd angles. It gives it character. That's what I'm going to tell myself. So I don't fixate on the fact that they're wonky. will do and I know which logo and coach I'll do it with but I'll save it for when I get designing oh I look forward to seeing what you make has anybody in the chat got an idea of what they want to do you don't have to tell me what you're planning uh, but I'd like to know if there's anybody who has a proper idea of what they want to do there should be an option for where you can copy layers and groups etc onto other cars you can do it on PC, but I don't want to say you can do it on Xbox when I don't know if you can do it on Xbox. But I imagine the same tools um, should be available. So, um, as you can see, I've just eaten through most of my layers and won't go there. Um, place. I can hardly see the damn thing. There we go. Place. And then copy. Let's try that. That is going to look wrong and we all know it as soon as I move it from that grate. Because I can't actually see it properly. Right. Um, so we have one cog. Hold on. Let's add another shape. 
cause. Select, confirm, change color. Um, don't panic. I just want to make it look slightly more. There we go. Um, make it a bit smaller, a bit smaller. Is that all right? There. That's better. Right. Okay. And now to group all these together. So, oh, actually, do you know what? That wasn't as bad as it was earlier. Um, I used, I definitely used more layers earlier when I did that. Group all that together. Mm. Trying to think, do I need that one? Yeah, and I need that one. And do I need that one? No. Group. So then I can copy it, uh, move it over, and then we've got. We've got multiple ones. Um, so place and then edit, make it smaller, make it bigger. So this is going to be my sort of um, clock face again. Um, copy it, edit. And it looks pretty, I quite like it once you start having like the different size cogs and things. Um, let's put that one. Down. Let's make it a bit smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger. Let's go there. Place. And then let's put a little medium -y size one. Edit. And then let's go. Let's put it there. And I'm going to move these. Um, like I said. There. Which one do I want to move? I want to move the bigger one. Down a bit. This one. Let's go. There. Okay. Um, right. Now we need the numbers and the hands. Um, what I might do is, is there any way with it? I'm going to leave it there for now. I was worried that because of that bit I couldn't see it would look all dodgy up here, but it's only, it's only a little bit off, so I'll allow it. Okay. Now to remember my Roman nu numerals because I really don't, I'm going to have to Google them. Right, shape. So I'm going to do them in black just because I think it's easier to make them stand out. Um, and I know I've gone for like the sort of brown outline of the clock, but I think it might need a different colour to stand out a bit more. Um, it just blends in a bit much. Actually, I'm wondering if it should be the same colour as the cogs. Oh, I'm definitely not going to win the contest, that's for sure. Well, I'm not participating in the contest either. I'm hoping this will just give you some inspiration and show you how you can like play around with all the different shapes to make it do what you want. Ah, thank you very much for the numerals in the chat. That's ace. Much appreciated. I'm going to start with, well, 12. All right, let's go to the block one. Um, let's make it smaller. Ooh, too small. Good. There. Let's see what happens. And let's make it ever so slightly smaller again. 
I had a problem with this earlier that I couldn't figure out where like the perfect center was. So all of my numbers were wonky. It's probably going to happen again. Just a fair warning. Okay, let's move that slightly. Please. And then, like I said, if you're trying to conserve um, layers, obviously I could go with the eye. Um, but what I'm going to do is there's, there's a nice little, see, like two, two there and you can mess about with it to get it to do what you want um and it's it's the same with a lot of the others so and um obviously i've mentioned i've had a practice of this this afternoon um it's because i wanted to actually be able to show you something i thought might be useful because um it took a lot of time this afternoon to actually get it to somewhere decent um but yeah uh, right. I feel like they're too chunky. Do we think about there? Yeah, about there. The cog layer is impossible, it would explode. But I thought steampunk was realistic, um, practical, and that's how things actually worked. No, um, it would be absolutely, completely impossible. Anything is possible in steampunk. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, so, right, to try and avoid all of the numbers being wonky this time, I'm actually just going to go like 12, 6, 3, 9, and then I'll fill in the gaps because otherwise they're just... <laughs> what we're going to have is I'm going to go all the way around and then we're going to have a huge gap here. Um, so let's do 6... Um, which is the V. Um, copy, course, shape, no, need, text. Um, how do you put a livery on your train so when you're driving around your livery is on it because you don't know. So um, when you've made a livery, you, when you've made your own design, you want to know how to how to drive it is that the question um if it's not i'll try and answer the other question but i think i think that's what you mean now should it be upside down yes the v should be upside down shouldn't it yeah yeah that's what i thought and yes yeah so when what i'll do is um before before we're finished with this i'll show you how to select your livery uh when you're loading the game um it's actually quite easy you'll see it because it'll have like a little paintbrush next to it when you're um clicking a service um and it just gives you the it gives you the option to use yours i think for wagons and things like that um it does it automatically yeah uh, V wants yeah because V is five isn't it and then it's like the one is on the other side because it's like five plus one um, I have a question do you think there should be more pre-made logos in livery designer I'd love more pre-made logos um, I don't know how feasible that is but um, it would be nice Is it wagons will randomly show up in service mode? Yeah, the wagons I know show up. Um, because you remember that rainbow um, wagon I made? It was just like everywhere when I was playing a different service and I forgot I'd done it. And I was like, oh my gosh, rainbows galore. Um, I didn't know AI traffic could randomly pull one of the created liveries too. Yeah, exactly, same. Um, right, let's copy. Oh no, I only want one. Okay. Shape. No. Text. So this one I'm going to need to make chunkier. Okay. 
So, um, like I said, by no means perfect. Um, it upsets me that the one is chunkier than the V, but we're going to have to let it go. Um, it makes for some really cool looking trains on CSX if you've got enough liveries installed. I think I saw someone asking if there's a maximum amount of like personalized wagons and stuff you can use. Um, I don't actually know if there's a maximum, but I imagine there would be. Um, otherwise I feel like it would start to affect the game's ability to load if there were too many. Um, I did my first Steam Workshop scenario for Train Simulator 2021, which is on Riviera Line in the 50s route, called Modified Hall Rescue. If Matt wants to check it out, tell him, feel free. So there's a thread, I believe, in the um, Train Simulator part of the forums. Um, and you can put your suggestion in the Workshop Wednesday thread. Um, and they'll give it a look and um, not promising it'll get done on a workshop Wednesday, but it'll definitely get looked at. I wish that we could switch liveries on the locomotives and cars without having to make a whole new livery from scratch. Yeah. All right, let's do the three it has to point the other way. Let's turn it around. So I know it's taking a long time like just to do the clock, but this will just give, it's to also give you guys like a bit of an indication of how long you can spend on this making your perfect livery for this competition. This is why I'm saying use all the time. Even if all you do is spend an hour here and there. Um, and you know, have fun with it. Um, that's the most important thing. Even if you don't win, just have fun actually making something. Um, because I'm going to have fun looking at them all, so. It's got a bit bigger. That isn't perfect, but it'll do. And then it's I, X, isn't it, for nine? Or like one X, I, X, you know what I mean? Copy, edit, let's go over to the other side. Um, is there a competition or something going on? As you said, if you don't win, yes. So um, if anybody did miss me mentioning it at the beginning, uh, there is the livery designer competition. And I believe uh, if I, one of the moderators We'll probably put the link in the chat momentarily. Um, and you can have a look at all the T's and C's about how you can participate. There you go. Thank you, Mod EC. Um, you spent a whole month making CNH Sugar Cover Hopper. Do you know? I really enjoy sometimes going on the forums um, and having a look in that thread that's got the um, community livery creations because some of the stuff you guys make is incredible. Like, what a talented bunch. Um, and it's just fun going in there, seeing what everybody makes. Um, edit. So we're getting there with the clock face. <laughs> it's taking forever. Um, Moggy, I'm definitely not sulking because that had that copy and paste response ready. <laughs> you got beaten to it. Uh, right, let's do all of the ones now. Copy, edit. Um, boom, boom, boom. So the two is obviously going to get sort of hidden a bit behind um, this here. But yeah. place and then copy edit. So what I'm trying to do is 
preserve as many layers as I can where I can. Um, so you know, like that 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 particular tool is on, it only takes up one layer because of the shape. Um, and you will get good at that. The more the more you do it, you'll get better at saving layers. Um, place, and then I want. Where's the one I want? Is that that one? Yes. Um, bum, bum, bum. Let's move it down here. And move. And then. Group. Copy. And then I'll move it. And then what I'll do is put that number on the other side in a moment. Place. Ungroup it. Um, doo -doo -doo. I might make pride livery on the three hundred one four. So is it Pride Month and all that? Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, would you go for the rainbow flag or a different kind of flag or just something pridey? Uh, what am I designing? So I'm designing something steampunky. I'm currently doing a clock, which I thought would take significantly less time than it has. Um, but <laughs> we're getting there. Um, it's actually coming together all right. It's my own fault for being too particular. Um, this place. The Rolex guys are feeling embarrassed. Now, you bet they are. They wish they could make something like this. Ah, uh, you see, look, that gap between that. I'm going to have to change that. I can't, I can't be doing with the gap that big. Like, no. It's not happening. Um, art cannot be rushed. Yes, exactly. Well, I think art is a bit of a stretch for what I'm doing, but yes, it cannot be rushed. Um, where's the one I want? I think it's those two. I think so. No, not those two. That one. Um, edit. I promise you guys every time that I'm not going to be too particular and then every time I'm too particular. I can't just leave it when, when, when it's staring me in the face that it's wrong. Um, what's my idea for this livery or do I have something in mind? How would I like it to end up? I don't know how I want it to end up. So... Obviously, I'm going to do bits here and there for today. Um, but then I'm doing another livery stream um, at the end of the competition, which will be like highlighting what you guys have created and then, you know, sh showcasing the winner. Um, but I might keep working on it um, even after the stream, see if I can get anything to... Um, see if I can get anything to stick that I like the look of and then just show you guys what I made. Um, but it all depends on how much time I get. Um, if I have time to do that, I'll try and make my own creation. And then I want this one. Copy. And then it's V2. Um, what's the background? So the background um, is just black, um, but then I've put like a sort of gold on it and I have given the front of the train a moustache and a monocle um, because I felt like it was in theme. If I could have put a top hat on him or her, I would have. But now we're gonna carry on with the old clock. But yeah, don't forget, so um, obviously when I put it directly at the front like this, it looks exactly like a train. Uh, it looks like he's got a monocle on. Um, and consider that when you're taking the screenshots for your creation. So try and get the best angle for it. Um, because if I do this now, obviously it looks completely wrong. Um, so bear that in mind when 
when you are doing it. It doesn't have to be perfect from every angle. Um, it could just be perfect from the correct angle. Um, right. And then to place copy. That needs to be M as a slightly smaller. Uh, it's on a bit of an odd angle, isn't it? Let's try that way. And then, wait. I keep losing track of them now. I think it's that one. Is it that one? Yes. Uh, question, would your opinion on an American GP7 with American rolling stock goes through Britain? I don't understand an awful lot of that if I'm being completely honest um, what are you trying to ask there Apollo Gaming right. and then let's move it Oop, no. um, let's go there And then let's move it down. And where did I put the other one? What route is my favourite? Well, um, my favourite route actually at the moment is Southeastern. But it's because I've been there a lot lately and I keep seeing it. So now it's become my favourite because I keep seeing it. You know like how a lot of people's favourite routes are the ones that they f frequently go on? Um, that's why. Normally, I like um, Mersey Rail because that's the one I used to go on a lot when I was younger. But if we're talking about routes in the game, Southeastern. Um, I hate all to correct. What would your opinion be if you saw that an American train going through Britain? Honestly, if I saw an American train going through Britain, the only ones I would recognise would probably be the ones from this game. Um, otherwise, I probably wouldn't know if it was American or not. I've the, my knowledge of uh, where trains are from and such is very limited uh, to what the community have taught me and what I've learned from this game. Um, but to be honest, I'd still think it was a little bit cool if there was an Amer if there was an American one in the UK because it's like it's not supposed to be here. That would be great. It's like oh wow, that's from America, you know. There have been American trains in Britain. In fact, there still are American trains in Britain. Which ones, Moggy? Educate me. not perfect um roy henderson i like great western roots that's great why great western why are they your favorite that's fair um mod steven jam best route of course is the loading screen <laughs> the only route that you can run everything on Ah. Oh. Um, let's go X, copy, the S100 and S160 steam locos. Oops. 
once even the US logo fell from a crane during unloading in the UK. Really? That's not what you want. Um, the Class 66 were made in Canada, America before being delivered to Britain. So there's been quite a lot then. Copy. Okay, we're almost there with the clock face. I apologise that it took so long. Um, interesting fact there is also a US switcher that is used in a quarry used in the UK could also say the 59 and 66 as they were pioneered by EMD and the Grange. And then we'll do the actual handles, face, no, hands even. Um, copy. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Oopsie. That was an accident. Mm, let's add a new decor. There we go. Shape. Um, I'm thinking I might put a little. Thing dot in the middle, um, like maybe a black dot in the middle, just so that the hands go from something. Um, just so we know where the middle is. Let's make it a tiny bit smaller. And we're probably not going to end up needing that. Um, and then the other thing I'm going to do while I remember is change the colour of this. Should we see if it works with that orange? Ooh. What colour do you think looks better? The orange or like the dark brown? Or do you think it needs a different colour? Because we could go completely different theoretically. Could go, mm, not sure about the block. Not keen on that. I need opinions on the outside colour here. Do I go to college to learn what I'm doing? No, if I did, I would probably be considerably better. Um, this is just something I've been learning in my spare time um, to try and get better at. Orange. We think the orange looks good with the orange. Um, John Railman, I want to go to college to make games. What kind of games would you like to make if you could make any kind of game? Um... I think I can't decide. In, I'm going to leave it as it is until I get more feedback about which one you like. Orange or, re orange or red? I hadn't even thought about red. Ooh. Well, I like that. We could do a dark red. Should do a dark red. That's quite a nice red. No, I like that. That's a good shout. Train simulation games. Nice. Uh, right, let's add a new one. Let's add a shape. Let's go with an arrow. Ooh. Which one? Let's go with this one. What time does everyone want it to be on here? Mm. 
have I heard of the Flying Dutchman travelling across America? I have not. I've heard of the Flying Dutchman. Uh, didn't know where it travelled though. Two forty-five. That's a very specific time. But okay. Let's go to two. Oh no, that's the big handle. Okay, we'll go here. Make it smaller. And I'm going to get rid of that little black dot in a minute that I put in the middle because I did not end up needing it. Now we've got the little hand. This, uh, let's get rid of that. All right, so we've got the clock. Um, what I might do, it'll take me a while, but I think I'm gonna group them all together, the whole thing, um, just so I can move it about. And then after I've done the clock, what did I say I was gonna do after that? Um, or is there anything you want to see me do uh, and create? If you've got requests, ask them now because I forgot what else I said I was going to make. Um, I've got to click through like a hundred layers. So yeah, um, I don't doubt that you'll all come up with smarter ways of conserving layers. Can I make the red stand out a bit more? Yeah, I can change the red. Let's change the red to a little bit of a brighter red, shall we? It's more like a burgundy at the moment. So I'm just grouping it all together in case anybody's wondering what I'm doing. Um, so all of this. So I can move it all at one time. Um, rats. Ah, oh, I forgot to ungroup those. That's annoying. Right, we're gonna group it. And then I'm gonna have to ungroup these. Always check what you've grouped before you start grouping something else. I'm trying to click the correct buttons. Alright, group. Um, I'm just going to move it all to the side. Okay, that worked out all right. <laughs> um, could you show me how to put the liveries on the trains? Yes, I will do that. Um, do that towards the end of the stream. Um, all right, we'll do another one. Uh, oh, no, I said I changed the color, didn't I? Let's ungroup it and then edit this to a brighter red. Shall we go? There we go. Let's go for that one. Uh, confirm. 
add a cactus to the train to give it a western kind of feeling. I mean, you could. It's not very steampunky. Cactuses are not very steampunky. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is try and like create some pipes or something um, that go down here or something like that. Obviously, that's just a very basic clock and cogs and stuff like that. Um, like I said, if I had loads of time, I'd probably make it look like a pocket watch and then have a chain coming out of it and stuff like that. Um, but that just gives you an idea of how to make that. Let's see if we can um, make some pipes. Skull and crossbones. Wrong genre. Are you go to add OBB trains to train some mulch? So um, keep a look on the road map for any um, to see where we're at, what's being added to the game and stuff like that. Um, shapes. Right, let's go for... Um, that's actually going to be quite handy. Um... Let's go for this one. So what I'm going to try and do is maybe make it look like, you know, there's extra pipes and stuff running down here. Um, I'm not going to have it like dripping stuff. And let's go for what colour do we want? like a grey another grey mm, do I want grey? grey doesn't work let's try yellow yellowy um, let's have a look it's quite hard to decide what colour I want it all to do Um, what colour pipes should I have? What colour is pipe supposed to be? Do we want like a gross green? Do I work for Dovetail? Yes, I work for Dovetail. Um, I'm a community manager here at Dovetail. Um, orange, grey, brass pipes. Yeah, I was thinking maybe brass. Let's try... go with that um okay let's go smaller and then place so i want to try if i can um do like nice bendy ones but I'm not sure what shapes we've actually got and how I'm going to make it work, basically. Um, bum, bum, bum. We could do the same again, but I feel like if I did it down, it would be way too harsh of a... Um, it'd be too harsh of a turn, I think, but we'll see. actually a bit better than I thought. Let's put that there and hold on. Let's um, copy the cause shape and then because I want it to be like nice and smooth. I don't want any like really harsh edges or anything like that. Um, and actually do you know what I might do as well? So I may do like, um, you know, like the little bolt type things. So like I'll do, I have an idea. Um, let me show you what I mean. So I want, right, let's go back, um, back, have I did, did I make a copy? I did, um, edit, let's make it, move it, make it smaller. 
change the color right so it's like slightly actually let's go like grayish gray brown um, confirm and then if I put it That's the wrong colour for what I want to do. Um, for what I'm trying to do anyway. There. So you know like it's like sort of joined together. And then if I put like little dots. So it looks like it's sort of like been bolted together. That's the idea anyway. Um, now whenever I get my real world up and going and have dovetail map it out and put it in the game I'd like to take it over and basically do some train fixes to it and some scenery fixes to it <laughs> a hockey stick yes I am uh, do you know what? it actually looks more like a boomerang right now I'd say than a hockey stick don't you think just chuck it um is there any more news on the St. Ives route so uh when we have more news to share about that um we'll do it in the appropriate places um this is definitely not the stream um for sharing information like that uh copy edit uh, and then let's go down my pipes suck okay but they'll do the job for now um if i had more time, I would end up having better pipes, okay? It's entirely because I'm out of time. It's not because I haven't thought this through properly. <laughs> uh, copy, edit. Oh, uh, rats. Uh, that was a mistake. Where's the one I actually want? Where's, where's, the, where's the darker one? Is that that one? Where is it? Is that it? Copy? Edit. No. <sighs> I can't find the one I want. It's that. It's got to be that. No. Where did I put it? The bottom one. Um, it's a snake. Yeah, it's a really rubbish snake um copy that's a better angle on that one make it what I could do actually thinking about it is make it a bit wider and then it let's do it that way so yeah as you can see at the moment I'm really really like um testing an idea and stuff like that and seeing what works and what doesn't um as you can see some of it definitely doesn't work some of it works great um you can you can sort of get where I'm going with that. 
my head still hasn't figured out what it is I'm trying to achieve there. I think I'm putting... I think I'm putting them in the wrong place is the problem. Um, it's sort of like, you know, like the end of the pipes where they join together. If I had... If I was willing to spend all night on it, um, I'd probably figure out... I know what it is I'm trying to do. Um, so what I want is you know like the ends the pipes where they sort of join together so you have it like that right and then you copy it and then you turn it around and it looks like a pipe that's what I was trying to do so edit because what I was doing is putting it through the pipe but then I thought about a game that I've played before, you know, like where you connect pipes and you have it on like the joints that you put together. Yes, Moggy, maybe put bolts on the joints. Yeah, and then you could put, could put the little dots on as well and it would look better. Um, so. And then place. Now this again, it's really, really rough, um, but it just gives you an idea of like how to create it, should you want to. Um, and then you can just have like different length pipes and stuff like that. Um, and then there you go, there you get the general idea, um, and then you've got the clock there. And you could actually move it, so I don't know, maybe it looked like the pipes coming out from the back of the clock or something like that, or from the mechanisms and things like that. Um, and then what I would want to do as well is, so like, um, let's say, you've got your pipe, and, you know, it'd be nice to have, like, maybe a leaky pipe, um, but instead of having it leak water as it's steampunk, you could have it leak something green and nasty um, and then move it around so, yeah. and you could end up eventually with like like a little puddle of stuff at the bottom um so yeah there's there's an idea um I think we're going to end the stream. Yeah, something like something radioactive. Um, or just even, it doesn't even have to be radioactive. You could just put it in, in with the steampunk theme. So it could be something like, I don't know, it could be purple. It could be, um, you know, you could change the colour to literally anything you want. Um, and it could look great. You know, like a really bright purple. Um, you could do all sorts. Um, so there you go. That just gives you a really, really, like, basic idea of what you can do with the steampunk stuff. Um, I hope it gives you, like, just a little bit of inspiration. Um, it's by no means perfect. I'm probably going to keep working on this. Um, because I, I must say, it's actually, it's quite a fun theme. Um, like I said, I want you all just to have fun creating it, you know? Um, and I look forward to seeing what everyone's making. Um... Oh, I promised I would show you how to um, get this into the game. So I know this isn't finished, um, but what we'll do is I'll save it. Make sure you save your stuff. I do not save it enough. Um, one thing I'll say to anybody that's doing this, save your work all the time. Every time you do something, save it. Because um, there is nothing worse than, say, it crashes or something like that, and then you lose it all. So save everything. And then now what I'll do is... Um, We'll go back into the main menu um, and I'll show you how to like load your own uh, liveries and stuff like that. Like I said, work in progress, probably going to keep working on it. And then when we come to the um, reveal, when we pick our winner, I'll show you what I ended up working on and stuff like that because it is quite fun. Right, um, let's go back. I'm just going to go like straight from the main menu um, so you know how to click it, uh, so you know how to find it. Uh, so for this one I did uh, Clinchfield Railroad, so then you explore, timetable, and you can click on the F7 and switch livery. 
when you switch livery uh, you can click so you've got like I don't know four different liveries that are all the same one uh, you can click steam, your, your steampunk one which is mine it'll show up here and then continue and then just click any service we'll go for this one whatever service you want to do need to wait for it to load now and then begin and I'll just show you and there it is in the game all lovely and ready um, and that's how and that's how you get it into the game um, so there you go Am I on PC? Yes, I'm on the PC. Uh, so thanks for everybody that joined me tonight. Um, and I wish you all the best of luck with your um, liveries. Um, like I said, practice, practice, practice. Uh, take lots of time on it. Um, if you've got questions and you think I can help you, um, please do feel free to ask me on the forums. Um, ask each other for help. Um, from my experience, anybody that knows how to use the livery designer or is confident with the livery designer, everybody's willing to help each other. Um, and then this week, we don't have a stream tomorrow, um, but we do have workshop Wednesday and then on Thursday, I can't remember what it is on Thursday, uh, but take a look at the um, stream schedule this week. It's, it's on the forums. Um, thanks for joining me, everyone. And I'll see you next week. And good luck with all of your livery designs. Bye.